Have you ever flipped the oversampling switch in your plugin and wondered what magic it works behind the scenes? Oversampling is not just a fancy term. It's a crucial setting that elevates your audio quality by tweaking sample rates. Let's find out how it does exactly that. Hey guys, Joey here, and in this video, we're diving into the world of oversampling, a setting that you've seen but might not have fully understood. It's all about converting sample rates for pristine processing, kind of like how a chef finely chops ingredients for a gourmet dish. Speaking of fine chopping, did you hear about the producer who chopped his track so much it became a, wait for it, salsa beat? Now let's get into the nuts and bolts of how oversampling can enhance your mixes. Oversampling in audio plugins might seem like just another setting, but it's a powerhouse under the hood. When you enable oversampling, your plugin temporarily increases the sample rate of your audio. This is like giving your audio a higher resolution, allowing for more detailed processing. It's similar to how a high definition TV makes images clearer and more defined. Let's break it down even further. Normally, when you process audio, especially with the effects like distortion or compression, you can introduce unwanted artifacts like aliasing. This is where oversampling steps in. By processing at a higher sample rate, we can reduce these artifacts, ensuring a cleaner and more accurate sound. So when should you use it? Well, it's particularly useful in situations demanding high audio fidelity, like mastering or when working with high gain signals. Remember, more oversampling can mean more CPU load. So find the sweet spot for your project. Curious about how this impacts your mixes? Drop a comment below with your experiences with oversampling. Now let's move into our next segment where we'll see oversampling in action with specific examples. When it comes to applying oversampling and mixing, it's all about knowing where and how to use it. A common application is during the final mastering process. Here, oversampling can really make a difference in preserving the quality of your track, especially when dealing with complex harmonics and high frequencies. Another great place to use oversampling is with distortion or saturation effects. These effects tend to generate high frequency content that can cause aliasing. By enabling oversampling, you minimize these unwanted artifacts resulting in a cleaner and more professional sound. But oversampling isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's important to listen critically and decide if the difference it makes is beneficial for your specific track. Remember, each track is unique and what works for one person might not work for another. And speaking of unique tracks, we're curious to know, what kind of vocal compression settings are you guys using in your mixes right now? Share those techniques in the comments below. Now, up next, we're gonna explore how oversampling affects different genres of music. Oversampling isn't just a technical trick. It's a creative tool that varies across musical genres. In electronic music, where clarity and punch in bass and synth lines is crucial, oversampling can be a game changer. It ensures that high frequency harmonics generated by the synthesis and heavy processing remains crisp and clear. In rock and metal, oversampling plays a key role in handling high gain guitar tones. These genres often push equipment to its limits, creating a breeding ground for aliasing. With oversampling, you maintain the aggression and bite of the guitars while keeping the sound tight and controlled. But what about genres like jazz or classical, where the focus is on natural acoustic sounds? Well, here, oversampling helps preserve the subtleties and the nuances of the acoustic instruments and vocals, ensuring that the warmth and detail aren't lost in digital processing. Like 
Oversampling's versatility makes it a valuable tool regardless of your genre. As a producer or mixer, understanding how to leverage it effectively can elevate the quality of your tracks. Now let's transition to our final segment where we'll discuss optimizing oversampling settings for different mixing scenarios. Conquering oversampling is about finding the right balance for each project. It's not just about turning it on and off, it's about tweaking it to suit your specific needs. Let's talk about optimizing these settings for various mixing scenarios. When dealing with complex mixes with multiple tracks and effects, you might want to selectively apply oversampling. Use it on tracks that are heavily processed or have high frequency content, like lead vocals or synth leads. This selective approach is gonna help you manage the CPU load while still getting the benefits of oversampling. For simpler projects or when working on a less powerful computer, you might opt for lower oversampling settings. This still provides quality improvements, but with less strain on your system, it's all about making the most of your resources. And remember, oversampling during the final bounce of your track can make a significant difference. Even if you've used minimal oversampling in the mixing stage, turning it on to a higher setting during the mastering can bring out the nuances and overall clarity in your final product. As we wrap up this video, keep in mind that oversampling is a powerful tool in your mixing arsenal and in your plugins. It requires a bit of experimentation to find the perfect setting for your music, but the results are worth it. And now as we conclude, let's do a quick recap of what we covered. Today, we've demystified the concept of oversampling in digital audio processing, from enhancing clarity in electronic music to controlling high gain tones in rock. Oversampling is a versatile tool across genres. We also explored how to optimize settings for various mixing scenarios, balancing quality and system performance. And remember, the key is to experiment and find what works best for your specific needs. What insights have you gained about oversampling from this video? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're looking to dive deeper into the world of audio mixing and mastering, don't forget to check out the range of plugins at Joey Sturge's Tones. While today's focus wasn't necessarily about a specific JST plugin, our tools like JST Heat incorporate advanced features including oversampling to help you achieve professional grade sound. You can learn all about this and more on our website at joeysturgistones.com. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, keep experimenting and happy mixing.